TR69 refers to the technical report published by the Broadband Forum that defines the CPE WAN Management Protocol, or CWMP. CWMP was developed to allow providers of broadband services to deploy and manage customer premises equipment in home and business networks. In the beginning, TR69 was targeted towards the home router or business gateway specifically, but has now evolved to cover all manner of home network devices, including enterprise VoIP products, video set-top boxes, network-attached storage, femtocells, and an unlimited number of network-aware products through TR69's proxy function. CPE management gives providers the ability to cover a wide range of use cases, including so-called zero-touch installation, configuration and activation of new services, CPE firmware maintenance, and diagnostics for customer troubleshooting. We'll touch on all of these eventually, but for now, let's jump right into what the protocol is and how it works. Fundamentally, Tier 69 describes the interaction between an Auto Configuration Server, or ACS, and one or more CWMP endpoints, usually residing on a device in the broadband user's home network. Let's take a look at an overall session. First, the CPE initiates a TCP session with the ACS and negotiates a secure connection. The CPE begins every session by sending an inform RPC to the ACS, with arguments that include the event that caused the session. This is done over an HTTP post. In the HTTP response, the ACS sends an inform response. Once processed by the CPE, this means that the inform RPC is complete. There's probably no other RPCs that the CPE wishes to make on the ACS, so it sends an empty HTTP post to indicate it is finished. This may happen at any time during the session. The ACS begins to send remote procedure calls to the CPE, such as the Get Parameter Values RPC. The CPE sends its Get Parameter Values response in an HTTP post with the information the ACS was looking for. This ends the Get Parameter Values RPC. The ACS makes any other RPCs it needs to during the session, such as set parameter values to change the state of the CPE or set parameter attributes to set up a notification. When the ACS has no more RPCs to make, it sends an empty HTTP response, just like the CPE did earlier. When both the CPE and the ACS have done this, the session is over and it's time to tear down the connection. That's the basics of a Tier 69 session. If you have any questions about Tier 69 or CD Router, be sure to check out our collection of training and testing guides at www.qacafe.com university.